hello techies welcome to it tech solution today in this video uh, we'll take one step further in step function and i will explain today uh, what are the choice steps so in in step function all these uh, blocks that we see right we have different types of blocks we call them as states so if you see the official documentation uh, the building blocks of this entire step function or the state machine is uh, the states and there are different states a uh, few states we have seen in my last video as well where uh, we saw uh, task states where we were uh, using that task state uh, to trigger a lambda function so th that was a task state we also saw pass state uh, when we just need to do nothing we just need to pass some variables and process it maybe uh, the input and other things we can use a pass state so these are the different states like wait state succeed fail parallel map so out of these 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 are the important building blocks of uh, uh, the state machine we'll see today in among them uh, the choice state so let's jump uh, to the console uh, so if you see a choice state as the name suggests right based on some input variable uh, it will try to uh, choose a path okay so i i have two different kinds of uh, streams uh, or or branches in this uh, based on some condition i want to go to this branch else go to the second branch so here uh, we'll just create this uh, simple uh, choice state state machine and we'll see how the flow uh, decides and how the branches are uh, triggered based on the choice that we make so to make uh, a simple choice state uh, state machine let's go to create a new uh, template new state machine uh, i'll take a blank one and here uh, directly we can uh, we can also use a pass state first to create some input but directly we can pass input to the choice state as well so i will just uh, directly take the choice state here okay now in this choice state if you see the configuration you will see uh, rules here right so the rule that we'll have to create here so for that what i have done i have two lambda functions uh, these are these are my two lambda functions lambda 1 and lambda 2 so these are the simple uh, lambda uh, we are just taking values and we will be just returning it to show uh, which lambda or which stream it is so i am just uh, the idea here is i'll be giving a skill name maybe java or python and based on these conditions my lambda will say that this if, if it goes to uh, the second lambda I will say that this is not a required skill first lambda I will say this is a required skill so this way I can uh, give my uh, choice state a direction so in in the choice state let's configure it so rule I was saying rule right so I just want to give an uh, input here and in that input I just want to give a condition so what I am saying is my input uh, this input is nothing but the one that I will be providing while I execute my step function so that will be the main input in that I will give uh, uh, only one key I will give as input so I want to filter uh, that input and based on this I just want to create a condition so if you see there are a lot of uh, options here and and or condition also we can give multiple conditions if you want to uh, I'll just take a simple one. I don't have that complex uh, use case right now. Uh, operations again, if you see, there are very uh, different types of is present, is equal to, less than, greater than, all these options we can choose to create uh, my decision making based on the scenario that I have right now. So my input, I would say, is equal to, if I say uh, my value uh, of this input is equal to, and the value and type of value you can de decide and give uh, the uh, type data type of that value i will take a string constant here simply and i will say my input uh, condition as java so what i am saying is if input is java then do something okay and what we have to do uh, next state is i want to add a next state here so let's drop a next state here if if condition is matched I say that uh, I need to execute this lambda okay so if you see the condition here it will automatically come now 
in my rule uh, if this is the condition if if input is java then the next state is lambda invoke so it will come to this lambda invoke okay now if if you see the else part here default rule this next rule is nothing but the default rule okay it, this is the main rule uh, the fulfilling condition if it doesn't fulfill it will go to the default rule and default if you see small explanation also it says like an else statement defines the next state when no rule is true right so here if you see uh, it is also saying uh, uh, then a new state so again in the new state i will say again uh, i want to invoke a lambda the second lambda which will process something right so here uh, again in the choice statement default role if you go and check uh, default state is as uh, the uh, i mean the one which will not match the second lambda and that second lambda will say that the skill that we have passed is not a required skill okay because the second branch of my step function uh, it is the default branch which is which is kind of a failure failure branch right so this skill is not requested so let's see the step function again so these two rules are defined uh, the actual branch input when it fulfills when it doesn't fulfill it is default and it is a failure branch for us now in in the second uh, level uh, the lambda that i am creating right i will just give the options here function name i want to execute my first lambda which is a fulfilling condition payload i want to use input as payload so use state input so whatever input it will be receiving i just want to have that as my input to lambda okay and then uh, a role and all it will take uh, so this is okay uh, input i don't want to filter anything output i don't want to filter next let's go to the next lambda also so this again is the api call that we'll be doing for lambda 2 this is the lambda 2 uh, again use state input as payload whatever input it receives use that as a payload and then choice choose an im role and other things are okay so let's create this one we'll confirm this and let's just see the code also at the back end uh, what is the code let's just see the code so here in the choice state if you see that state is added here uh, it says variable as dollar input uh, string equals as java so it is saying that input is java then lambda invoke else go to uh, lambda invoke bracket one so it will go to the failed state so this is how the choice state looks at the back end code lambda if you see first lambda is exactly the same as we had seen before also output path whatever payload is so payload dot dollar i am taking whatever input i am giving take everything as a payload i am not filtering anything so i am not using any output path or uh, some some other uh, variables that i discussed in the last video uh, function name uh, it's just the function name these are the default uh, retry options similarly for second lambda if you see again the payload is complete payload i'm using no filtering nothing uh, these are the default values and this is the fine so this entire thing looks okay to me let's uh, try to execute this okay so i will give uh, input while running this uh, so input i'll just say because we gave a first key uh, as input in our condition right and i will say here uh, input is java so if you remember here uh, the choice state that I gave, uh, if we see the designer, it says right dollar input equals to Java. So that is why the key name I am giving uh, input. And with this, let's just execute it. Uh, if you see here, it went to the first branch. Let's check the input and output of all these steps. So input, this is the input that I gave. Uh, input as Java. Output, no filtering, nothing is uh, we are doing. So output is also same and for lambda if you see the input uh, whatever input it had output of this step we are using as a payload to this lambda so this is the input to this lambda and output is whatever lambda is generating so lambda lambda one 
it will generate a, a message as output payload so if we see the return value here i am saying this is a record uh, this is a required skill okay and same output if we check here in this lambda output it says this is the required skill so this is our uh, past condition it went fine and it did not go to the this block right this branch so this is how it decides which branch to choose based on your choice condition uh, let's try to fail this let's try to see if it if it comes to this block or not so in this case i'll change the input instead of java i will say dot net right so dot net is then not the required skill we don't want dot uh, net uh, so that is why uh, it will go to the next step. So again, choice step, input, output, both will be same. Uh, the input to this step will be the same as input to the before step. And output uh, will be the output of lambda to what we are passing in the second lambda as a return value. So that payload is getting passed back to the step function. This skill is not required. And if you see the same message it comes here this skill is not required now we will uh, check uh, we will see two more um, uh, steps here two more states basically uh, which we can use with this succeed and fail now suppose this is my not required branch right so but still it is this step function is getting completed if you see here uh, the execution uh, thing it succeeds but this was my failure step right i wanted it to maybe fail so if that is the case uh, that you want it to actually fail so that it's visible uh, to whoever is monitoring it right uh, from here itself it will come as a failed status so if you want to fail it uh, we can add a failure branch and succeed branch here so failures and succeed are for this purpose so success this is my success branch right and then this is my failed branch so i will add a failed state here okay if you see uh, success configuration there is nothing much state name just success and it doesn't do anything whatever uh, it is receiving it will just mark it as success and it will end the program but uh, failed state if you see here is the failed state configuration so here we can define what is the error we want uh, error at runtime from state input or enter an error we can give some error name uh, this is not a required skill okay this is not a required skill and uh, the cause again i can say uh, user defined cause we can define and say uh, not required skill okay uh, or maybe not matched not matched skill okay these error messages we can pass to uh, this state let's save this and again we'll try to succeed it and try to then fail it so to succeed it i will give uh, back here java okay with java let's run it again it will go to success and if you see the success input of success uh, is nothing whatever is receiving from this lambda this is the required skill and output also it will be passing the same thing and it will just end so this will mark it as success but let's try to fail this one uh, again i'll go to new execution and again i'll give like python some other value uh, so python if i run with python you will see that it failed it went to this branch and it will cause this uh, step function to fail so if you go to this input you will see this skill is not required and error message that user defined error message we had defined not matched skill so this is the output of this failed state and ultimately this um, uh, step function you will see is the final status is failed so whoever is monitoring will be able to understand that this failed and it went to the not required branch so the this way we can define the choice and if you want to fail it or if you want to make it a success uh, based on this we can um, uh, use this success state and fail state so with this i think uh, we covered major uh, steps uh, or the states few states are there like uh, parallel state i will explain it in my next video until then bye bye have a nice day